hands down, one of the most interesting watches and weird watches in my collection, and I have a very weird collection of watches, is my V Centera. I get tons of questions about this watch when I do my state of the collection or when I'm wearing it. It's a very interesting watch because of that grade five 3D globe at that five o'clock position. That is an actual globe. It is a little sphere that sits in the actual dial next to the movement. It's pretty cool. It's made out of grade five titanium. The case is made out of grade five titanium. You have an offset dial and the dial has tons of little details that are very interesting. So first off, that grade five titanium globe sits in a bowl which is a starry night sky. It's actually painted like the night sky. You have stars and everything. And then there is two plaques on either side of that globe, and it represents the 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., so those little sapphire plaques on either side. That V on the dial is actually an indice. It's an index, excuse me, and it is made out of platinum. Uh, and that points to where it is noon on the globe. Really cool a lot of details here um, and then moving in from the dial you can see the dial is a blue sunburst dial which is beautiful it's metallic uh, it's printed on so you have printed indices they also make ones with applied indices which looks even better uh, and even deeper there's a lot of depth to this dial as well there's two little jewels that are picking out uh, peeking out excuse me from the dial itself uh, which looks really good and then you have very interesting hands on here, and those are actually made out of white gold. Then there is a bowl for the date. That's also made out of white gold. The V is made out of platinum. I don't remember if I said that. And then you have these two sort of areas of metal that sort of sandwich in that globe and sort of surround the area that is not filled in by the dial because it's offset. So there's a lot going on here. And when you're looking at it from the side, you can see the thickness of the dial itself. And you could also see part of the movement, just a little peak of it. And you could see the depth of the dial as well and the actual movement. It's really beautiful. And like I said, it's a grade five titanium globe. You get a grade five titanium case as well. The crown and the bezel. You get a smooth bezel on here. Everything is polished. You have a boxed sapphire crystal, which looks really good as well. Um, very interesting case. So the case is sort of carved out on either side and it's very very smooth you have these sort of cut off lugs you have a sign crown which is very big and grippy then you have a pusher both of them are sort of carved out and scalloped which looks really good and then the same treatment on the other side just beautiful almost like a beautiful futuristic sports car it looks really good i'll do a close-up of that so you can see it and then the case back they keep on going with the details on here you have an edit movement, it's a 2892, but you get that in-house module that sits on top of it and you get a custom rotor. This is Sapphire, you get the spec sheet here, it's screwed in, um, and then it's all brushed in one direction. Then you get another Sapphire crystal, that's to see the earth where it is night. And it says that in French right there. Really very cool. Obviously it's a Swiss made watch, they are a Swiss independent brand. I believe these watches retailed for around $4,000 when they were new. I think if you want to buy one now, they're around the same price, around $4,500 or $5,000. They're coming out with one with a moon and an earth in it. So you're going to have two little globes, and they're going to put it in this exact same case. Now, let's do measurements so you could see what I'm talking about. It's really awesome. So this crown is sort of by the 2 o'clock, where the 2 o'clock would be if this dial was actually sort of stretched out and this is sort of near where the four o'clock would be or three o'clock actually no the four o'clock position uh four five o'clock if it was uh, actually stretched out and the dial actually reached the edges of the actual bezel but it doesn't so that's where it is um and you can see the case is large so it's a 43 millimeter case uh, but it doesn't wear very big, and I'll, I'll do a, a wrist shot really quickly and show you what it looks like on my 7.5 inch wrist. But it doesn't really wear very large. You have very abruptly cut off lugs on here. And it is 50 millimeters, so 50.9, which is not bad. You have a very big crown, and since it's offset, 
it works really well, 7.1 millimeters. And it's not incredibly thick, but you do get a boxed uh, sapphire crystal on here. So it's 11.8 millimeters thick, not thick at all. I think you only get like 50 meters of water resistance, but that's not why you're buying this watch. You do get Loom on here as well. Again, not why you're, why you're buying this watch. This is sort of like a baby Grubel 4 if you will. Um, this gets an Eta Movement. There are a lot of brands out there that use Eta Movements, but they've gone to town on this Eta Movement. They literally uh, take it apart, put it back together, uh, and you get a custom rotor on here. And obviously that custom uh, or actual in-house module that sits on top of it. So technically not an in-house movement, but parts of it are in-house. And there is a lot of details here to look at when you have this on your wrist. It is really beautiful. Let me show you how that globe moves. You just press this button and that's it. So it's not really a GMT. So it is sort of gimmicky. It does move when you move the hand. So when you set this to wherever it is noon on earth, you actually will set your clock. Um, you know, obviously it will move with the hours. So it'll move along as it should. So it is actually tied together. So it's not just something that's sitting there. Is it useful? I, I guess it is. How many people have asked you where is it noon in the world right now? Uh, I, I've never had that question. So uh, it's not incredibly useful. So it's kind of gimmicky. It's really not a GMT, uh, as I said, but it is interesting. So as you turn it along, you can see that globe is moving, moving. It, it just It's just cool. I think it's cool. Again, it is kind of gimmicky though. I agree with you. I would have done without the date on here. Even though they did a really good job with the date, I would have done without it. Anyway, very quickly, let me do a uh, wristwatch check and then I'm gonna do a quick loom shot and we'll wrap up the video. Today, I am wearing Aerotech. This is their newest watch. It's a titanium diver, very affordable, under $300. I put it on an aftermarket strap. It actually has to go to the next review. I think it's going to rock the watch next. Um, but I will take it off the strap because it's one of my favorite straps, but this is North Street straps. They make some pretty awesome straps, um, and it's handmade in the United States, so pretty cool. Uh, anyway, very quickly, the Vicentera. I have this on an aftermarket strap as well. It's a Straps Co. strap, uh, just a very inexpensive strap, but uh, I like the brown, sort of earthy tone with that blue. I think it looks pretty good. Um, and it just feels really nice on here as well. It's just a nice strap, very uh, soft. Um, anyway, there you go. 42 millimeters, 43 millimeters on my seven and a half inch wrist. It doesn't really wear very big. It's very thin for what it is. And, and that 11 point, whatever it was, is including that box sapphire crystal, which definitely adds at least a half a millimeter, um, maybe even more than that. So there you go. Beautiful watch, just gorgeous. Let's do a quick loom shot. So there you go, there's just loom on the hands, really nothing too bright. It's decently applied, but nothing really great. I mean, it is technically a dress watch. It's just an interesting watch. Um, who knows, maybe if they loom the night sky, maybe the stars, that would have been cool. But I get it, it looks really good though. I, I really do love this watch. Um, I think it's a very interesting watch and it's very very good looking and like i said they're coming out with a few new watches one of them is basically this case with that moon and it's going to be a moon phase uh, and then you're going to have an earth and they're going to be separately i think controlled so you're going to be able to set the earth to noon and then uh, the actual moon will be a moon phase so you're going to have a true moon phase uh, which is pretty damn cool uh, i'm pretty sure that's how it's going to work um, but again, I'm not hundred percent sure. I don't think they have it out yet. Uh, I'm actually pretty friend, pretty good friends with the owner of the brand. I talk to him very often. I am an affiliate of the brand. So if you are interested, definitely hit me up. Uh, very interesting watch, beautiful watch. In my opinion, one of the most interesting watches that I own. And I own a lot of interesting watches. Like I said, uh, I think this is pretty cool and it gets a lot of sort of attention when I wear it, uh, because it is so cool. Anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. 
I'll catch you guys in the next video.